welcome back guys in the need for speed hit today we'll look at something what probably you've been thinking why he does not show us that car it's one of the most OP cars in the game apart of obviously uh, Ferrari FXX um, Porsche RSR and um, and exactly this car will have the one and only McLaren P1 today, then we'll buy it together, guys, as a tradition. I don't know why I created this tradition that we drive into the dealership to buy the car, but I suppose this I suppose this works, uh, and it's quite cool way of uh, starting the presentation of the car. As you can see, I have not unlocked few challenges to do with jumps and collecting flamingos, but this is on my cards to do then we paid just over 2 million for this beautiful p1 with this beautiful painting of gtr it's a really stunning car to be honest but we'll see how this car actually behaves in stock is it actually quick enough for us and can it slide no nope, cannot slide obviously it's four wheel drive it's a proper truck car that we don't expect it uh, to slide but in terms of turning can we do that okay we can turn somehow uh, then that's not too shabby with handbrake we can slightly slide and twist it to where we wish to go then that's not too bad I really like the looks of this car and it's beautiful isn't it this P1 I don't think we'll make many changes to outside of this car but in terms of performance we are sta starting as an outset with 3.8 V8 hybrid engine, what is quite interesting, with potential of 1,209 brake horsepower. And uh, we could have um, 3.8 V8 hybrid with a bit higher uh, potential over um, 29 brake and we'll actually buy that engine. I don't really know what is the difference in between those two, but um, they seem like uh, from the same car, but we'll quickly modify it and uh, we'll move on to the performance, to the body look of the car. Although I don't think, as I mentioned, we'll make many changes. I like the rims. Probably only thing what I would change is the um, outside of the car, to be honest, uh, in terms of painting of it. I would change the color coding. I, I'm not really digging this yellow and green. Uh, but uh, we'll see in a moment, guys, what we can do here. Definitely we need better chassis. We'll take a truck chassis on this car. Uh, we already have the best brakes. In terms of tires, we'll take truck tires. Uh, clutch is the best anyway. And gearbox is best. Then we can put uh, a truck diff because obviously we need it and the repair kit we are obviously on 400 plus rating but that's not actually surprising anybody but look at this guys power 9.7 high speed 9.8 acceleration 10 nitros 10 then for potentially if we'll just put normal oh actually we would lose some power that way but in terms of um, performance we have we're losing that 32 brake horsepower because we don't put in that other turbocharger. But if we put that um, turbo, we would actually lose a uh, torque and um, and acceleration. We could actually gain more torque by adding a supercharger, but we don't do that to be honest. Um, and we'll keep this car as is. In terms of body, what we can do. Okay, we can take the trim out. You know what? We'll take the trim out because I'm interested what liveries we can actually find. I like those rims. We don't make any changes to the rims. Okay, and that's only thing what we can change in this car. That's fine. In terms of paint, what we have here? Oh, this looks cool. Uh, we'll see what else we have here. Black and white. I'm digging black and white as well. And I think this looks so clean. 
I want black and white. Somebody made amazing job. And uh, what is the name of the creator of this um, Don Juan song? Okay, then it's one of the biggest YouTubers who stream uh, racing games. Then, you know, fair point for you, to you. Very good job, man. Thank you for sharing it with us. Um, and in terms of effects, we wish some green nitros. And we'll take a pink smoke from the tires. Because why not? Okay, then now, as our car is now built, then we can actually move and have a last look on it before we will move on to racing. But you need to admit, this is proper, proper racing car, isn't it? It does look stunning. We'll leave number plates as hit. Because why not? We didn't done this for ages. But this is actually beautiful car. I really adore look of this car. Then we'll move to the first race and we'll see each other guys in a moment. Uh, I decided that we'll test this car first on the oval track. Only because we've been testing every other car on the oval. And we'll see how this car will stack up against uh, opponents on this level. Uh, definitely uh, it's uh, way more twitchy than others, but uh, mainly because I didn't actually put massive downforce into it. I only reduced it by, increased it by uh, one little notch and it, as you can see the, uh, this car actually start to be tail happy, which is actually good because we will be not under steering on faster corners, which is good. As uh, you could see on my Porsche review, uh, where the Porsche was actually so much under steering that uh, uh, if you've been driving fast you could not turn. Also you could notice that in Volvo review that if you're driving very fast this car did not wish to turn whatsoever which is obviously an issue because we, you need to brake hard or hand brake it for so long in order to start cornering that you've been losing a lot of time on this then I have big hopes for this car on Sonic Race that uh, we can actually gain some time on the corners. I'm hoping that this might be the case for us guys. That uh, during the corners we'll be able to make up a lot of time and hopefully we can break that 3 minute mark on our car reviews. I managed to drive this um, Sonic Race under 3 minutes uh, but that was um, after a few repetitions of the race in certain cars but obviously the, those reviews are not too far to show you the best possible run. This is, in my opinion, option for you to see how under average player like myself can do in those cars. If I cannot do well in them, then if you are much better than me, you would not be able to perform to the best of abilities because obviously you wish to see mediocre player and after that you as very good player you can actually apply this to your standard and um, have much better times but now we'll move to the sonic and we'll see each other in a moment i'm very curious how this car will stack up uh, against uh, our other competitors which we already had in this uh, game uh, while i'm driving uh, obviously uh, fxx is its uh, direct competitor Porsche RSR is another one and I'm very interested uh, which one will be on the top of this race. Sorry, I'm trying to learn how to use uh, this uh, oversteer for my advantage to stop using handbrake turns and just use this oversteer to my advantage that uh, it's twisting the car slightly which gives me a uh, time advantage but that's not easy guys, I'm not that good in this game but uh, hopefully we can actually prove that this car is amazing to drive and it's potentially better than uh, RSR if you are average player because obviously if you are a very good player and uh, you know how to do everything in this game you understand completely game mechanic uh, then RSR is hands down the best choice for you but if you're looking for something fun to drive like myself and uh, you have um, unlocked this P1. I feel like this P1 is definitely fun to drive. This oversteer gives you this additional angle where 
in other cars which I've been driving this year um, you get in a lot of grip but you don't get in any cornering uh, capacities uh, what I mean by that if you turn the wheel nothing actually happens basically you're driving straight and in order to turn you need to use um, handbrake which is not actually that efficient because you're using a lot of speed while doing that looks cool granted but if you can save time especially on the time attacks you know that's something what you wish to do because um, uh, you wish to have the best time you don't want to look good obviously you do wish to look good but what I mean you don't want to lose time to look good you just wish to be quick do you and look how the back end actually kicking in in this car it's just amazing how this give you this additional angle to the race where you can actually uh, get advantage because you don't need to heavy brake before the corner you can just pull the back end and carry on sliding and gaining time which I'm finding very good and kudos to game developers for introducing this kind of fun car into the game where back the back end can actually slide gently on four wheel drive oh in here I messed it up big time but hopefully this will don't cost us too much can we have um, under three minutes six seconds yes we can three minutes three seconds if we would not mess up the last corner this would be under three minute run then I think this is good option for this car it's great to drive and I will show you my setup with downforce and steering because uh, I'm thinking that this is one of uh, better setups what uh, I done and I like in it on this car I will test it on other cars but basically we are one two notches uh, in steering and same for downforce instead of going the full whack there and in terms of the car it's accelerating in 8.87 seconds in quarter of mile and can do 231 miles per hour but I'm hoping you enjoyed watching this video, you found it informative and uh, maybe you'll purchase uh, yourself a P1. If you do in game, let me know what you think about it. But for now guys, thank you very much for watching and take care.